What's up, guys? Today I will be um reviewing this game. I'm sorry. The game is called Gods of Gravity, and I really enjoy this game. Um, I don't know why I didn't make this earlier, but I have I really started playing this game a lot more. Yeah. So it's right here, Gods of Gravity. Let's hop in. And um, uh, as you can see, I have bought Star Access and Map Creator because of just that's just how much I love the game. And, uh, I don't think the game would be as fun without Star Access, alright? I'm just saying. If you really enjoy the game, I think you should consider buying Star Access. This isn't, like, an ad or anything. Like, it just makes the game, like, ten times better. You can do way more stuff. And, um, with that, um, I will show you guys my maps and map creator. Um, so, my big, um... The big thing with this game, I guess, this video would be, is Gods of Gravity good? And it's honestly very debatable if this game is actually good or not. But in my opinion, it is a great game. Dude. Alright, that should be fixed now. I, the only reason I made this um, room was because, um, I I I, th I think I hopefully I sped that up, but the only reason I made that room was because I was in a room and then everybody was like, "All right, why won't you make us a room?" Because I am a creator. So first of all, let's get to the part. What exactly do you do in Gods of Gravity? I'll just play a campaign level, just. Make it easier to demonstrate. So, I'll be blue. So, basically, you have these troops, right? And first of all, I start off by claiming my moons, but the goal of the game is to win and to claim the other person's home base by destroying the troops they have there and making it yours. So, what I normally do is go after the moons first, but I my troops died, so I have to, you know, drag it past because it has zero. There's new planets, there's different type of troops in the game. The ones I start off with only are the shield troops, shield troops, and the, um, rocket troops, or whatever they're called. But, yeah, I normally wait until I have at least, like, 14 troops. You can see the troops right here, where it says the has all number. Um, I normally wait until I have 14 troops to attack a 9 planet, mostly because they the 9 planets attack... Like, it's, it may seem like they don't have that many troops, but, it, like, when you really start attacking, they your troops get lowered massively, so. That's why I prefer to, like, you know, wait till they have nine, f 14, and then just send them from the back, away, and then they take it over. So, now that you got the gist of the game, you can make wormholes to teleport your troops to a planet and just start claiming other ones. So that's what I'm gonna do. Probably to the nuke planet next. If my god of production is able to be used. So if I aim it at a planet and I let go, it will produce a bunch of troops around it. There's more gods, but I just chose god of production for the sake of this video. Because it's the easiest one to demonstrate. So, I'll send my troops here. And hopefully they don't die to all the nukes. Alright, they didn't die. I'll, I'll explain what the nukes do. They basically target your troops and explode after hitting your troops. So they're like pretty OP. But, I mean, a lot of people like the nukes. Personally, I think they're overused because, like, that I I've, I've seen maps where you where you start off with only nukes and you have only nukes to clear. But, but the problem with only having nukes is um they don't attack unless like they are attacked and. and when they are attacked, they just keep spinning around the planet because I don't know why they just do that. They just do. So, I'm just trying to take over rich stuff. Also, this will help me beat a campaign level, so oh, that's kind of cool. This campaign level is really easy compared to this other one I did. And it took me like 20 minutes to complete that campaign level. Normally, it doesn't even take that long to complete the campaign level, but that one was just extra hard for some reason. Mostly because the bot just kept taking everything I took. 
Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys, this is a mod, this isn't a real person. Hey, I mean, maybe you could tell. But yeah, they're like, really skilled in Gods of Gravity, I don't know why. I didn't even know he was gonna go there, but... I guess it's good that I put them there. Alright, more nukes. Um, I'm just waiting until I have a good amount of troops. So you guys see I have 40, he has 43, that's like, uh, most likely not win that battle. As we can sustain that. Oh. What do you mean? I literally have my planet right here. That's stupid. I have my planet right there. gonna cut it off there i'm gonna just show you guys a little more of the mechanics in the game uh there's challenges that will give you coins to spend in the cosmetic shop which i'll show you guys so here are the cosmetic shop um i have quite a bit of hats i mean not not that much but this this hat was not worth all the grind to get but here is the um hats that are available to purchase right now. I don't have any much coins because I already bought this one like a little while ago. Um, you can buy names. They're like named tags. Noob is the one almost everyone has, but I just didn't buy it because, <laughs> you know what, I'll just buy it anyway. Why, why not? So, I already have it? What? All right. Well, I don't know why I'm ranked a noob. I normally use God of War because it makes me look like I'm good at the game, but not really that good at the game um so here are some mechanics i'll just let you, i'll just um use almost checkers as an example because i don't know all right so basically moons give you mining resources and I, there are quite a bit of moons that I've put on this planet that to, all right, so this planet will give you these kind of troops. It's the ones that have a bubble around them. These are what you, they call south planets. They basically hide your troops so your troops aren't visible on these two planets. Shield planets, it will produce shields. Elite planet, it will produce elite troops. And then it's just the same around because it's just a one big orbit. The harness at, at the unstable star, it will give you a boost when you free it. When you free it, there will be like a 25 second timer. Whoever has the sun captured before the timer ends gets the boost, and the boost will give them power almost everywhere. Not everywhere, though, and it will boost their troops a little. And these are home bases. What They're pretty uh, pretty easy to take over once you have a good amount of troops. Here, let me just make the turns to the default amount, which is 30. So, um, yeah. And that's basically all you need to know about this map. There's different kinds of stars, like there's the regular star, which just it's just regular harness star. Which if someone fully charges this star, it will ex send a like a death star type thing. There's um different types of planets. I showed you them all. There's just regular that produce troops, stealth, and home place. And that's basically all you need to know about the game and its mechanics. Well, the game is good. And I really hope you guys check it out. And uh, see you in the next video. Uh -huh.